Hey, hey, everybody. Julie Burke here. Okay, I'm adjusting this big, huge light that I got. I got the Diva. Okay. I just got to make sure that this is, this is good. Okay. All right. Look good? <laughs> I got this Diva 2. I think it's called a Diva 2. I don't know. I'm going to wait for everyone to get on. Uh, welcome, those of you that are popping in. If you could just say hello, making sure my notifications are on. All right, cool. Sarah, hey, girlfriend. How are you? How are you? Okay. I think we're good. A couple notes here. Hey, Lauren. Looking fab. Well, let's see. This is my hair is air dried. FYI, this is air air dry hair. Don't care. This is called fast. The fast look. Um, and I got this awesome diva light from my good friend Nadia Mountain. And so I'm super excited um, because I would like. Hold on. I'll give you one look. Hold on. Okay, so like I had this thing, which is cool because it just like clips onto the phone, right? Like so when you're out and about, you could just literally put this on. You get this from Amazon. Um, it's just a, a phone light. You could just go into Amazon, phone light, whatever, and this little thing will pop up, right? It was like 10 bucks. So then I'm in Vegas with Nadia um, over the summer, and I'm at lunch with her, and the chick I have to bust out Nadia. I know she will not be on my live. John might, but Nadia probably won't. Anyways, she's probably off doing her makeup, that beautiful Russian lady. All right, so we're eating lunch, and Nadia pulls out shoes out of her Louis Vuitton bag. It was hilarious. Like heels, you guys. I'm busting her out right now. And she has this light, right? So this light, which is obviously bigger than what I had going on. <laughs> And she gave me this light. So it just clips onto the phone. Uh, it just says ISF in the, in the background. I don't know what the heck that is. Anyway, so Nadia gives me this. I clip it on my phone. And I'm like, oh, this is really cool. Because this is so much better than my little dinky thing I have. So last week I did a post. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Both of these like were dying. Because I just did like this four part video series. <clears throat> and I kept putting these on. Anyways, long story short, the chick sends me this standing, huge, state-of-the-art, like, Diva 2 ring. I have no clue. She's outrageous. That's all I can say. But I love her. I love her. I love Nadia and John so, so, so much. That's why I am now partnered with Nadia and John. All right. So... All right, uh, yes, you guys are tuning in. Hello, let's see, Kelly, Danny, Sherry, Lindsay. Hey guys, how's everyone doing? We'll do a little bit of Q&A later, okay? I'm gonna talk to you about a couple things. Um, uh, as you saw, maybe in my description, if not, <clears throat> I'm gonna start out with an apology. Um, and this is really tough for me because I offended some people and I care about obviously um, people and I never, ever, 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 ever want to offend people. And, and most of you probably won't even know what I'm talking about, but I put a, a, a post out there yesterday and I want to recognize it because I don't want to hide from it. Um, <clears throat> I did have some conversations with some people and everything smoothed out and forgiven but I just thought, like, I publicly wanted to come out here because um, I never, ever mean to, like, offend anybody. Um, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to actually uplift and inspire, uh, not to shame, not to um, put down the way that somebody is doing their business. Um, so I put a post out there, and it was very, it was... Um, it was without thinking, right? And sometimes, you guys, I'm only human. <laughs> um, I see things, and you have to understand, like, and I don't want to make excuses. 
at all. I definitely am not an excuse kind of girl. Um, I get spammed every single day in this profession. And so <clears throat> when I see vehicles driving around with, you know, phone numbers on them and um, all over the car trying to promote their businesses, it, it's in a way to say that there's another way, right? Like the way I teach is online. Why? Because that's just, I, I, I feel for me, I'd rather build online where I can make touch points with more people and build more relationships considering I'm a busy mom um, and I have a lot going on. So doing coffee shops or posting business cards everywhere or what have you, it's just not my cup of tea. Like that is just not how I build. And I teach really the online methods. Not to, I don't want to distract or say offline methods don't work, but I put this post out there and um, I regret it. Like I definitely, definitely regret it. You guys from the bottom of my heart, if I offended anybody, I'm so sorry. Um, I took it down after about 45 minutes and it was one of those quick judgments that I just put it out there and I didn't even think about the ramifications of just like, hey, another person spamming their business. This is not how we do it. And, um, and you know, lesson learned on my part, um, you know, without a doubt. And so um, after crying about it with my husband, I want you to know that I feel um, very, very, very bad. And I just hope that you guys can forgive me as well, okay? Those that know me know I have a good heart and I have really good intentions. And um, sometimes we just, we do things without even thinking. And that was one of those moments. And so again, I'm very, very, very sorry, okay? Um, okay, so with that being said, woo, I was nervous about that. <laughs> I was nervous I was gonna cry. Okay, so, um, Let's move past that. Uh, real quick, I do have to mention that my heart and my prayers go out to everybody that was involved in Vegas, you guys. I had um, friends there. Tim's co-workers were there. Um, it was a surprise birthday for one of his co-workers, and they were at the concert. And luckily, luckily, when those shots went off, he, um, he looked behind him and then realized there was no fireworks and his gut told him to run and he grabbed his fiance and they ran and about five, 10 six seconds later is when everyone started realizing that it was what was happening. So um, just horrific and so that's why, you know, I try to be and I'm sure all of you try to be the light for other people and to help, you know, just keep things light and fun and just love one another and, and so not put one another down. And that's again, why, um, what I did yesterday, I will, um, always regret, but I have to live with it and move past it. And so again, my hearts and prayers go out to everybody involved. My friends got out, they got out, but a lot of people did not And so, um, you know, we pray for them. Okay. A lot of crazy things happen in this world. So let's um, dive into um, let's dive into a little bit of talking about today. I wanted to help you in regards to something that has worked tremendously for me when building my business. And I find that most people have, and again, I don't want to speak for everybody, but some people struggle with the conversion of bringing a prospect. Um, or I'm sorry, a product user, a product user, not a prospect. Like, so they're already on the product. You got them enrolled. You got them going. And how do you make that transition? Like, how do you build the bridge from going from the product user to a business builder? Okay. So would you guys like to know that? And it's literally with like one sentence. <laughs> I'm all about keeping things simplified in our business. So if you would like to know this, drop me a one and, and just drop a one down there because really I find that this is where a lot of people struggle. I hear Julie, I have um, this prospect and they, won't, they don't wanna get started in the business. And I'm like, well, why are you talking to the prospect just about the business, right? Like the, 
the, mo most people get started with the product. They fall in love with the product and then they convert over to building a business. Am I right? Um, I am not the norm. I am not the norm on many levels. I, when I got started in network marketing, I came in and I was like, show me the business. <laughs> I just got done with my franchise after eight years and you guys, I did not want to go back to corporate America. I never in a million years want to own another traditional business. That's a story for another day. But after having those babies for eight years, oh my gosh, I like was ran, I was stressed. I was ran into the ground. So I was like, yes, show me the business. Not most people are like that. And then I feel like um, network marketers can clam up and get, um, you know, just like, this isn't working for me. You guys, it doesn't have to be this hard. It really is like a one, two, three step process. So open your mind to customers first and not necessarily business builders, unless you are having the conversation or at least like if you do know, if someone's like, hey, yeah, I wanna know more about the business, well then show them the business, okay? So how do you get the, the um, product user to the business builder? Here's how. First of all, you keep the entire process as simplified as, as possible, okay? You get them enrolled. Now your job is to just be a matchmaker. That's what our jobs are inside of network marketing because your solution is not gonna be for everybody. I promise you that, okay? Not everybody is going to be my prospect. Now I recently switched companies and um, so it's still like you know a health company um, but it's very different from my past company. But still, even though I know it's like a health company and you know everything's toxic free, I know not everyone's gonna care about that. I mean, truly not everyone is going to be my, my prospect. And so um, that's okay, right? So understand that number one. Number two, not everyone's gonna want to not everyone's gonna want to build that business. Okay? Not everyone's gonna want to build a network marketing business. So be okay with that. Don't get down on yourself. But here's a way to help open the door from um, product into business. <clears throat> so up front, I always want to find out people's um, goals, what they're struggling with, what their pain is, what their goals are moving forward, right? This is the recruiting process. A recruiting process is not hammering people. Like, you should be recruiting without recruiting, okay? And a little bit on in this training, I'm going to share with you how you can learn more about that. But for right now, what I'm going to teach you is you recruit without recruiting. So <clears throat> there's several ways you can do this. Now, in the beginning, the way I do it is I ask a lot of questions. I actually don't do any of the talking and they literally talk themselves right into the product, okay? Um, so I get them enrolled and then what do you do? Well, you don't go MIA on them. You wanna stay in contact with them and you want to have those conversations of, so you know their goals and you know where they wanna go and you know that they got started, so you're just doing your check-ins, and you could ask people, how would you like me to check in? I just wanna you know, see if you have any questions. Do you want me to check in through Facebook Messenger, um, email, or text, right? And just ask them like, what form of communication they like. Um, and so this is what I would do. And, and, and in my business, I would always identify where they needed help, and then I knew their pains, their struggles, and what they needed help with. So throughout the first seven to 14 days, I'm in communication with them. They're getting the results. They're loving the product because I'm making sure that they're loving the product. Now, most people will, if you ask them how to communicate, they will say, yeah, sure, go ahead, text me, or go ahead, send me a message through Messenger. I'll, I'll get to it when I can. That's fine. Like, that's why I love Messenger, because they could hear your voice when you do the, the voice recordings. You could be like, hey, Sue, just want to check in with you. You're on day five. How are you loving it? Right? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to use health and wellness for an example. I'm going to use weight loss, because it's like the easiest example, right? So uh, Sue comes to me. She, has about, about, she wants to lose about 20 to 30 pounds, and I get her started. I get her going. I'm in contact with her, um, communicating, what are you loving best? And, and she's telling me, right? And so I'm making mental notes. You can write it down. And about two weeks in, um, now Sue's like absolutely loving the product. 
And again, you guys, I understand some people, you'll never hear from them again. I didn't hear from everybody all the time, but I still did my check-ins. And this is probably where people are, might also be dropping the ball, just like sometimes we drop the ball with follow-up, okay? So you're on there and you're communicating with Sue. And then um, you could either say, hey, you know, do you have like a quick five minutes to jump on a call? Now, this is two weeks in. You're already building a relationship with Sue. She's already trusting you. She's already getting these results with this um, product. <clears throat> and she's like, sure, you know, I could, I, could, I could get five minutes during my lunch break or whatever, right? Okay. Now, you could do this over Messenger. However, I think it's a little bit more personal over the, the phone and it's a quicker conversation, okay? So we still wanna have human touch in network marketing. I know online is taking place for a lot of the attraction, um, which I teach and do you utilizing Facebook Messenger. This is what you say on the call with Sue. So you're like, so this is great, Sue. Like I'm super excited for you. So tell me what you where you've been now again in the first 14 days. So you have her reiterate her results, okay? And then you say, okay, cool. Um, so how much weight did you lose? And she says, okay, I lost 10 pounds. 10 pounds in the first two weeks, right? And you're like, this is awesome because this is like serious results that my people used to ha like would have. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's incredible. 10 pounds. And so I go, okay, well, how's your sleep? It's just like, are you sleeping better? And she's like, you know, they'd be like, yeah, actually I am sleeping good. Okay, cool. How about that, those gut issues you were having or, or the, that discomfort you were feeling, right? Because we always want to stay compliant, you guys. So I would call them discomforts or challenges. And so remember, in the beginning, before Sue got started, I knew all of this. I knew everything wrong with her. Why? Because I kept asking questions. So now Sue says, yeah, my sleep is good. Yeah, you know, the, I haven't had to reach for, you know, that, that um, whatever, that Tums or Rolaids or whatever with my, my gut distress. That's right. Like, so you're recognizing, you're, you're helping her to recognize all the awesomeness that she's experiencing on these products, okay? So this is the bomb that you drop. You say, all right, cool. So you're, you've dropped 10 pounds. You are sleeping better than a baby. Like you've ever slept before better than a baby, even though I know a baby doesn't really sleep that well. <laughs> um, you're, you're sleeping really solid. You're feeling more balanced. You're having, you know, let, less uh, gut distress and you're kind of like reiterating. Yeah. So are you able to keep up with your grandchildren now? Like, so you're now even taking it further, right? Yeah, actually I can't because that was one of her struggles before. She was like feeling really frumpy and she just wants to feel good so she could run around with her grandchildren. Okay, cool. So you're just reiterating and you say, all right, so imagine, Sue, imagine if I never shared these products with you. Where would you be today? That's it. So you help them to imagine like, and then you go a step further and you say, who else can we bless with the same results that you're having? That's it. No person in their right mind, when they say it like, when you present it like that, and they're already hearing themselves, see, you're getting them to talk out loud. This is why I like to have a, a phone call, because you're, they're, they're listening to themselves talk, you guys. It's part of psychology, right? Like They hear themselves and they're like, holy crap, yeah. Like, you're right, right? Like, so you're saying all this great stuff happened to you in 14 days, and yet you're still sitting here, right? And, you know, maybe I didn't present the opportunity up front, but now I'm going to present it because now she has all these amazing results. So I help her to imagine what her life was like two weeks ago. Is that cool? Or is that cool, you guys? That's it. That's it. Like, that is how simple... The process is and I will tell you try it go back to some of the people that you have had on your products with your you know health and wellness weight loss fitness um, where they're getting better muscle gain um, using your oils and they're like starting to see some major results within them and their children um, what have you go back travel you could use this with anything 
anything that you're getting somebody results with, or at least that they're starting to see some results, you could go back and say, imagine if I never share this with you, where would you be today? Right? Who else do you want to bless with these same results? Right? If you're in travel and you're saving people 60% on their travel, like, hello, who else would they want to help with that? Like, it's a simple question. It's a simple, simple, simple question. And it's non-invasive and it's very receptive. It's very, very receptive, you guys. And so there's your nugget for today, okay? I hope that was good. If you guys liked it, drop me an emoji, something. Give me like a high five. Give me like an emoji high five. <laughs> Just give me a two. <laughs> um, so you guys, I'm going to take some Q&A real quick. Um, and then I'm going to share with you a big announcement that I have coming up uh, here very, very, very soon. It's very exciting. Yes, I love the fist pump. Yes, thumbs up. Really, really cool. High five it. All right, does anyone have some... some uh, questions for me, um, whether it's anything, my approach, attraction marketing, using my fan page, social media. Okay, so we'll get to questions. I'm still getting thumbs up and fist bumps, which I love. Um, real quick, I have, can you, re Stephanie, can you repeat those questions? The, the questions that I asked just now, so yeah, you could go back and watch the replay, but real quickly, what I what I would say to people is, um, so like I said, my example was Sue. I say I would say, hey Sue, so you're getting you're dropping ten pounds, you're feeling amazing, you're sleeping through the night, you have less gut distress. Like you reiterate all the benefits that they're experiencing, and then you just say, Sue, imagine if I never shared this with you two weeks ago, would you be would you feel the same way today? So you help them to imagine, like you're pulling them back to when they felt like crap or whatever, or they were spending more money on something. And now you're like, you either are saving them money, they're feeling better, they're losing weight, whatever it is, the result that they're having, you just ask that simple question. Imagine, imagine if I never shared this with you two weeks ago, a month ago, two months ago. If you're gonna go back to old prospects, just say, imagine if I never shared this with you before, would you be feeling the same way today? Would you be having these results? No. Obviously, the answer is no. So then you say, okay, great. Well, who else can we bless with the same results that you're having that you know that would absolutely benefit off of this? Right? So it's in a way of not saying, hey, Sue, uh, this company has an amazing, amazing compensation plan. And, you know, let's get $500 in your pocket, you know, within this week. I mean, you guys can't say that, but if they're not in the mindset of that they want to do another business, you don't want to completely like have that conversation up front. The very first icebreaker is to just say, hey, imagine, so you're having all these great results, Sue. Imagine if I never shared that with you two weeks ago. Would you be feeling this way today? Would you be 10 pounds lighter? Would you be sleeping through the night? Would you be having less gut distress? You're just helping them to recognize that it was you that brought them this solution. They found the solution. Now let's go bless somebody else. Does that make sense? Cool? Got it? Uh, Shuri, I went back and I used other um, examples. You could use this. Um, you could use this. Woo! You guys, wow. Uh, I think somebody's in this office with me. Something just fell off my wall. It's creepy. I have angels. There's angels in here. <laughs> I don't know. Um, should we go back and watch a, a little bit ago um, and see? I mean, somebody needs something for everybody, right? Like, I understand there's jewelry, there's home fragrances, there's all of that. So you focus more on the benefit of having your house smelled better. Maybe you have a non-toxic product because you don't want people breathing in, especially children, from candles and things like that, like um, a, a toxic product. I'm just throwing that out there. So always highlight the benefits, right? Um, let's see. I know early Halloween, you guys, woo, I'm not joking. That frame has been up there for months and literally just like no one's standing over there. Like that is absolutely crazy. So early Halloween, yes. All right. 
Um, for your posts with pictures, what do you use? All your pictures in quotes look so professional. Casey, Casey, uh, Canva. You could use Canva, and Canva is free. Um, I think before we were using Adobe Design, but that is a more complex um, uh, app, I guess you want to call it. I don't know. But you could just use Canva. You could get some great photos on, on, Can on Canva and design them yourself. Um, what about someone who have tried the products and expect results in 30 days and don't want to give it the 60 days or longer for the products to work? You know what? That's Jeanette, that's her own problem because you can't um, be like the... The, is this, Jeanette, is this weight loss? I'm assuming if they try the product and expect results in 30 days, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's weight loss. You know, we can't be the, the food police. Like there's a lot that goes into that, like why they're not losing weight. Like if you're giving them simple instructions to follow, right, like what we offer is we offer the product in my company now, the product to follow a Mediterranean diet and um, to make five like lifestyle changes, okay? And you don't have to even pick all five. You could just pick three, like um, walk, you know, an extra so many steps a day or walk a mile a day, <clears throat> um, drink X amount of glasses of water. Does that make sense? So you give people like the roadmap, but sometimes they don't want to take the roadmap and they want to like veer off, like, right? And so you, can, you can't control what they do um, and you cannot convince people, okay? So just understand some people, they're just either not going to get the results because they're not fully engaging with the product and like your system, or they want to go off and they want to do um, their own thing, okay? So let's not worry about those. People, Renee, do you do anything with the likes you receive on posts about time freedom and being able to work from home? Um, yeah, Renee, you could totally do that. So if you're putting a post out there um, about time freedom or being able to work from home, um, you could definitely reach out to the person and you could just say, hey, listen, thank you for liking my post. Um, working from home has been a blessing. If you or you know anyone that you know, would love to have more free time or is just miserable at their job and looking to actually break free, um, please keep me in mind. I'd love to share more. That's it. That is it, that is all you say. Um, and you guys, this is all recorded, right? So you can come back and listen to what I say. Like that is all you say. So it's very, um, you're not like, hey, I saw you liked my post. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I'd love to give you more information. Like don't assume, like just like we don't wanna assume the sale, don't assume just because they like something that, you know, they that they want information. But it's okay because Liking is kind of like they took the first step, if you may, and you're just taking the next step, right? It's like a dance. It's like a dance. And so sometimes the dance comes to an end uh, because people fall, <laughs> but it's okay. And so um, it, take that initiative and, and you know, reach out. Um, a girl, somebody I know put this curiosity post out there the other day and I reached out to her and I'm like, hey, what is like, what is this thing? What is this product? What does it do? And I messaged, or I wrote on her, <clears throat> I wrote it on in her comments. And guess what? And th this was the right way. This is what I teach. So she didn't immediately answer my question. She actually um, said something back to me, which furthered our conversation which then later she private messaged me as a, oops, I forgot to answer your question about the product that is coming out, like the product line that's coming out in my company. It's like a skincare thing. And so it was really cool because her and I had a couple back and forth, like ha ha moments actually in her comments. She did not address when I asked what it was. And then later on, she private messaged me, smart, smart, she came back to me later and was like, oh, hey, by the way, I realized I never answered your question. Now she did it through voice messenger. And so we started having communication back and forth and I'll probably end up ordering the thing and it's like pretty expensive, but 
it was really cool. Like she did a product demonstration, but never said what it was. And I think she did the product demonstration through like a Snapchat. So it was really funny. And um, she wrote the post in a very like funny way. It wasn't like, hey, check out my new light therapy or whatever. Um, what did she call it? She said something about, um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think. Because the whole thing went back. Oh my God, Megan was her name. I don't know if she's on here, but it was it was funny how she was describing the way that this thing made her face feel. Like she described the way in a funny way, and that's what caught my attention. And that's what had me reaching out to her. Um, and her little Snapchat demo was like in a blown up face. So you guys, like that's something different. That's eye catching. Like that is what we call thumb stopping in the feed because our feed is like, you know, crazy busy. And so you want thumb stopping content or you want thumb stopping videos, right? And so that like got my attention and I was like, this is awesome. But I love that she did not jump on and answer my question in the comment section immediately. Um, she started motorboat. That was the word. She used this thing, motor. I love how this motorboat's my face. And so <laughs> her and I take, took it a step further in the comments. Now, mind you, I never really talked to this girl before, but now, look, like we have a relationship. She's funny, I'm funny, she's been following me, I've been following her. And um, so it's just really cool. I'm just giving you guys an example to help start mixing up some of your posts um, so we're not always just standing there and you know drinking our shake. Um, I get it, like you like your shake, but let's let's drum up something different. Maybe show um, a Facebook Live and do like a really quick um, smoothie recipe and just say, and I use my protein because it helps the body to burn fat, gain lean muscle, and whatever, like three benefits. Do you see what I'm saying? Like show them what you're putting in your smoothie and then you hold your protein without them seeing it and you're throwing your scoop of protein and you're like, I only use this protein because it helps me to blank, 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 blank without blank, right? How to blank without blank, you guys. That is one of the greatest titles you could use. How, you know, how to lose 10 pounds in 10 days without deprivation. Okay, does that make sense? So, woo, okay, I know I took that a little bit further. You guys, did thump, uh, give me something, hearts, thumbs up. Did that help? Is any of it, does, is this helping? <laughs> Let me know if this is helping, okay? Um, I can't even get to the other messages. Okay. Um, what's the first step to go from stuck in your business trajectory? How do you jump that emotional roadblock? Woo, Shelly, good question. Because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my big announcement. And Shelly, you're going to want to tune in because this is what's going to help you. Okay? So, who would like to end and build their business and end Q4 super strong? Okay? Q4. Quarter four. Like, right? We're into October, you guys. Right? Um, so, you want to be able to learn how to get unstuck. You want to learn how to, you know, quietly start pulling in um, more prospects using online. Again, I'm totally not here to bash offline, you guys. I got some of my greatest leaders offline early on five years ago. However, um, the trend is changing. The times are changing. And online, I'm hitting one to many. One to many. So in the long term of building your business, Building online one to many just makes more sense than one to one. Like I'll still go to a coffee shop and have coffee with a, a friend or a prospect every now and then if I have the time. But honestly, I could do what I do online, on video chat, on Zoom, on Skype. This is this is leverage, okay? So if you want to finish out quarter four very strong, if you're looking to build your business. Uh, online and quietly start, you know, build, you know, building rapport and pulling in more prospects. If you want to learn how to recruit without recruiting, and you know, you want to learn how to um, build your business through social media marketing 
and and just engage more people in this noisy marketplace and then go off and build a team and duplicate the process. Do you guys want to learn this? Would this be something of interest with to you? Just say yes. I need to hear yeses, okay? Because what I am doing is I am hosting a uh, free live training workshop on Thursday night and I'm going to be going over all of this you guys and it's really to get you on your fast track to success. I have now probably worked with uh, hundreds personally hundreds hundreds okay um, thousands of people have actually um, reached out to me through through my um, fan page and I get to connect with the most amazing entrepreneurs all over the world and I get to also hear your pains and your struggles in your business and the one thing I do not want you to do is I do not want you to quit because quitting is the easy way out right quitting is easy facing all of this other stuff feeling stuck rejection fear you know all of it um where to find more prospects how to move away from my war market all of that that's not so easy, right? It can be easy if you know how to do it and you have the right plan, but it's more easier to quit. And you guys, quitting, if you didn't know this, is the number one habit. It's the number one habit. And so you go back and you think like back in our childhood because it's in our subconscious, like, right? So when, you know, I got bullied when I was younger on, you know, my volleyball team, what was it easy for me to do? It was easy for me to quit. It was all I knew back then, okay? And so think of a time, go back to a time of when you quit something, right? How did it make you feel, right? Now we're more educated, we're more empowered now more than ever, and so that's what I wanna do. I wanna help rise you up in your business in quarter four. So I want you to join me on Thursday, okay? This Thursday, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, it's a live workshop. You could bring any of your questions. We're gonna be training you on, um, sorry, my dog. She's staring at me, she's so cute. I'm gonna be training you on all this stuff. I'm gonna be training you about recruiting, about branding, about social media marketing, about building your teams, about duplication. You're gonna hear all of it. And, um, and then how to be able to engage further with me after that, okay? So, is that a thumbs up, you guys? I am personally inviting you to that, and I need you to share this. I need you to tag anybody that you know struggling with their business because we are going to help you get unstuck on this training. All right, pretty cool. All right, so you guys want the link? Um, yes, 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 yes. I need you guys to register today because I only have 200 seats. And the email for this went out yesterday. If you are on my email list, you got the email, um, register. And if you are not on my email list and you'd like to be on my email list, just head over after this to createsuccesswithjulie.com, plug in your email, grab yourself one of my freebies. Um, they're under featured products, but just go and grab a freebie. Actually, right on the homepage. Go right to the homepage. It's my ebook, um, my 60 Days to 10K ebook. And so just put that in, grab it, and you'll be on my email list. Um, but I, if you do want to um, register, then I'm going to put the link above this video, okay? So when we are done with the live, um, come back to my fan page and click on the link. I will try and put the link also throughout this, um, this broadcast. I will come back and I will comment throughout and I'll put the link. But I need you guys to register today and um, to make sure you are guaranteed a seat, okay? Um, all right, cool, cool, cool. I wanna answer some more questions, okay? Um, Cherie, how much? The, the training's for free, just show up. Just click the link, put your email in, register, and show up to the training, okay? Uh, oh, you're welcome, you guys are welcome. I just, I'm gonna take another question here, just kinda going through. Having a bit of trouble closing deals. I'm having a bit of trouble closing deals even after someone seems sold on the idea. I can't seem to connect right at the end of a great presentation. Okay, so that is 
Philadelphia? That's your name? That's really cool. Cool, cool name. Okay, so um, I'm going to be going over that inside the training. We're going to be talking about closing and objections too, okay? But to answer your question, um, I would need to know a little bit more about the presentation. Um, like, are, is this a one-on-one -on -one -on -one presentation? Is this a, uh, a group presentation? Um, if you can answer that... That would be good. If not, I can also, after this broadcast, I could um, reply in the comments um, with my answer. But um, is this only for Crystal and... Um, no, I mean, anybody... What I teach is a lot about sales and marketing because I feel so often that that is overlooked inside of network marketing Um and business in general, right? Like we, uh, unless you in college took, uh, you know, sales and marketing and understand that and the psychology around it, when we get involved inside of our business, sometimes we clam up when it comes to the sales conversation or we clam up when we're out there marketing. Um, and you shouldn't be marketing your product, you should be marketing yourself um, or closing deals, right? Like we just talked about closing. So Closing is a very simple process, but there are certain things that you need to have set in place to close. And that's why uh, Philadelphia asked that question. It's kind of a loaded question and without me understanding a little bit further um, about the presentation because the reason why most people don't get started is because they're not asked to. So during the closing process, um, I, I, again, most people skip over asking people for the sale. That's it. And so, um, Philadelphia, that might be the answer to your question. If you are if you feel like they're sold during your presentation, but then they don't pull the trigger at the end, you need to figure out if you were able to sit there and overcome all of their objections, you want to welcome their objections, you want to further their objections, and then you want to ask for the sale. You want to ask for them to get started. Okay, so are you doing all of that inside your presentation? And are you also understanding the main objections, um, whatever it is to your product, and addressing that in your presentation before you even get to the end? See, so often you wanna handle the objections early on uh, before they even get to, like the most common objections, like, oh, and it could be just like a, a flyby, like, oh, and don't, don't, um, don't worry about this because it, it won't take that long, right? Like whatever it is, again, for your product, if you have like a specific, you know, objection, maybe address it in your presentation and help them feel more at ease. Um, or just wait to the end and further the conversation with the objection. You want to be open to it and then you want to ask for the sale. Okay. Um, so no, I mean, I teach about, um, I teach about like connecting in there. So it's no, I mean, if you're, if you're connecting, if you're making sales, if you're in a home-based business, um, if you need to learn how to close, if you are doing team development, great. If not, doesn't matter. I'd still show up to the live um, workshop, Crystal. Okay, can you watch the training at any time once you are registered? Uh, Sherry, it's going to be live on Thursday, this Thursday night. At 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, there will be a, a I think a 48 hour replay, but then that's it. Um, if you show up live, though, we'll be doing Q and A uh, towards the end of the workshop. Okay. Um, all right, cool, Crystal. You're very, very welcome. Okay. All right, Terry, can't wait. Yes, I'm getting lots of yeses. Awesome, you guys. Do you guys find value in this? Did this help? Cool. Yes, thumbs up. All right, you guys, thank you for hanging with me. I really, really appreciate um, all of you here. I'm really excited to help you guys build out and grow um, and finish this last quarter very strong um, because you deserve it. Okay, you all deserve it. You all deserve happiness, joy, freedom, success, and uh, I want to help you get to the promised land. So join me Thursday, uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time found value, please like and share. Tag anybody that needs that training inside the comments. Just tag them right to this video. And um, if you have any other additional uh, questions for me, 
just drop the, the comments here or private message me is totally fine. I answer all my messages through my fan page. Just know that nobody else answers those messages but me. And um, as always, be blessed. Thank you guys for hanging with me this afternoon, okay? Bye.